I talked about a young lady that had MS and that I put her on a fruit diet. Now this was an advanced MS where she had no movement at all. She was frozen stiff in the prone position. She couldn't even turn her head to say hi Robert. So when I put her on fruit in two months, she was able to start moving to sit up, to wheel herself in her chair and to feed herself. And I told you I put her on a vegetable juice, a green drink, and a salad to try to build up her muscles just a little bit because she was so thin. And she quit moving again. And this is very important information for those with autism, those with MS, those with Lou Gehrig's, those with, with Parkinson's. Don't think you're going to overcome this if you don't change your diet and get in a raw food diet, first of all. And you're with the vegetable side of this, you're only going to go so far. You need to kick it up to fruit. Remember in our previous discussions, fruit has 12,000 angstroms of magnetic energy. Vegetables only nine. Vegetable matter has so much cellulose that when you subtract the energy it takes your body to digest it, the yield energy is so is much lower. Fruit is so easy to digest that your your base yield of magnetic energy is so much higher. And when you're dealing in the nervous system, energy is the key factor. Because without the nervous system, that's like the electrical department, you turn off the light switch, there's nothing going on. So real important to uh, to understand the role of the adrenal glands in terms of the human nervous system because you have two nervous systems. You have the central nervous system which is the brain and spinal column and then you have the autonomic which reaches up in the brain itself. Sympathetic, parasympathetic. I'm using both of them when I'm doing this. Okay, so very, very important. So important to understand uh, uh, the kidneys and adrenal glands and that lymphatic system and acid and alkaline because when you wake up to autism or you wake up to any neurological problem, you're going to go down that same road. You're going to go after your lymphatic system because that lymph system is the sewer system. Now because we have so much neurological weakness, we do not deal well with neurotoxins. And right now our society is literally full of neurotoxins, pesticides, herbicides, thimerosal and vaccinations. Uh, and I've touched briefly on this in, 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 in past videos. Um, you, you've got uh, perfumes, uh, bathroom deodorizers, you've got all kinds of chemicals uh, that are neurotoxin petrochemicals. I have people that pass out when they give, start to fill their uh, car up with gas. They pass out right there on the, on the uh, concrete. So real serious problems neurologically and as our kidneys go down uh, we bring the adrenals down with them and vice versa. So very serious issue. Our children are born today so weak. Some children are born without kidneys or I remember I had a child in here the other day born without one kidney. The adrenals are so weak, the nervous systems are so weak uh, that they can't handle it. I've had children, I get a ton of autism in here. I remember one child uh, she was in Texas. She, uh, at her fourth month, they gave her a Hep B vaccination, a loaded Hep B vac. She went into convulsions, uh, liver failure. She went blind, and her left eye went east. And it took me a couple of months to get all that convulsion and start restoring the tissue in this little child. But I can tell you that these are neural toxins, and it just shut down her nervous system. So she lost neural strength. And this is what's happening. And so the children especially have to move to these fruititarian lifestyles and some vegetables, I don't care, but have to get into these higher levels of magnetics and energy and all that comes with the appropriate chemistry. Plenty of chemistry in fruit. Matter of fact, the fruits and the berries is where all the good chemistry is. So uh, very important in children with autism or MS cases or Lou Gehrig's cases, get your, your diet high on fruit, at least fruit all day long in a salad at night and you might try to go beyond that one salad and go f for all fruit for weeks at a time. Of course, uh, we're also coming in with bowels that are never seen as bad as they are, livers and gallbladders, so these baby formulas are full of fat and protein. I, the, the ignorance of health on this planet is staggering. Staggering! So this baby was always throwing up, so they did surgery on this baby. What they did is they tied th this little baby's stomach around his esophagus so he couldn't throw up. And then they gave him Botox treatments in the rectum to poop. 
These are neural toxins. That's why 20% somewhere around that of people die from surgery, not from the surgeon, from the anesthesia because they're neurotoxic and you have a weak adrenal gland, you're going to slam that. Remember I told you about the lady after her third surgery, she went into diabetes type 1 and went into quit menstruating. And, and, and it shows you this, when you suppress that nervous system, you start turning everything off. And you can't do that. So this is why. The, the, these vaccines and why these, it's the neural toxins. It's all, to, you don't put toxins in your body, but especially neural toxins in today's world. So you've got to go after that nervous system. I use herbs, get a brain and nerve herb, get an upper circulation herb. Some, some children, and this goes with the MS, some MS cases have brain lesions and some don't. Brain lesions are easy to heal back. But what causes lesions? What breaks down cells in the body? Well, there's only two sides to chemistry. Not real hard, is it? There's only two sides to chemistry. One's corrosive. That's the acid side, right? And then you have the healing side, the base side. Your blood can't be acidic and break you down. That's your life force. And obviously the thicker mucousy lipid base fluid of the lymph system deals with the acid. It's more protective. So you have these two sides of chemistry. You don't move these acids out of these tissues, you're going to break them down. Whether it's brain tissue, lung tissue, heart tissue, I don't care what tissue. Bones, muscle, bone marrow, doesn't matter. Spleen, doesn't matter. To rebuild the human body, you must move those limbs. And the adrenal glands controls the kidneys, which is the doorway out for these toxins, these acids that cells produce in their daily life cycles. And so very, very important with your children with autism that you get them on raw. I think that's all I'm going to do on autism right now um, because you have to just simply change the diets. You can get into a brain and nerve herb formula it would be good. It'll strengthen the nervous system. Uh, if you have seizures in your children and things, use an herbal antispasmodic. I have one and use that to control the seizures or spasms in the body. Uh, you might also check the parathyroid gland. The parathyroid gland is where the body utilizes calcium, and calcium is essential in the nervous system and essential in the muscles, connective tissue. So always look at the parathyroid gland. You can tell that through fingernails, ridges, or weakness. You can tell that through the exposure of veins in the body, hemorrhoids in the body, and uh, you just want to make go after the health of the body of the child. When you focus on your lymph system, you're focusing on everything. Head to toe, every tissue in the body, liver, heart, kidneys, doesn't matter. So that's a given. Uh, always clean up the GI tract. That's a given in health. Uh, kill the parasites a little bit. Keep the bacteria if you can. Um, uh, get some worms out if you got them, but that's not a focus. The focus is the health of the cells through these two fluids. You don't have to focus on the blood. You can clean the blood up a little bit. We have a good blood for you, but really... Cleaning that lymph system will clean everything else up in the human body. And then you can use herbs specifically for nerves, for heart, for kidneys, for lungs. And so this is the beauty of herbs. They assist you on your road to Wellville.